Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL number 50 round of 16 match live between Kruppi and his Chaos Dwarves and Cyber Knight and his Chaos team. Two unbelievable teams, could be easily have been the final this match. Um, I guess the thing that Kruppi's missing is a ball carrier. He only has a, a sure hands, like so that is his weakness I guess. He'd be a little bit exposed against the great elves in this tournament like Mankiz and... Uh, said Elliot, man, kids and ducky, right? He, he does. He is lacking on the ball carrier front. But um, any, you know, he's he's likely to get out. Like he's also got the worst bash team in this matchup. Um, he has fourteen players versus thirteen, and he's got two dirty players. So like he can easily win. The, like he can easily win the bash matchup because he's got claw palm and he's got loads of mighty blow. So like, while he is disadvantaged in the bash matchup, like all of his guys have got block right, whereas uh, Cyber has defenseless players. Cyber's bash side is unbelievable, you know, like loads of loads of guard, stand firm, claw mighty, two full claw bombers with tackle, great ball carrier. So like, Cyber's got a lot going for him. Like his team is pretty unbelievably good, but with a bit of a dicing, um, Krupy can easily win this match. He has gone for an apple and a bribe over a wizard. Interesting. So there you go. Oh wow, yeah, he went he went guard rather than a juggernaut. Juggernaut of frenzy could have taken, and he just went for an extra guard. Very interesting. That's not what I would have done. I would have definitely gone frenzy or juggernaut. Um on a normal. And especially like when you think about like when you think about the elves, Juggernaut to take down wrestlers is great. And versus these guys, Juggernaut to hit the stand firms is great. So I'd have really, really fancied Juggernaut. Or Frenzy, because Frenzy's just good as well, right? They're, they're both they're both pretty great. I would have only gone jugs of frenzy. Um Pro's good if you've got if you've got jump up of course, but um I would I would have only gone Ooh, we've got we've got wild things now um, on this <laughs> on this, this site. Um, <laughs> uh, hello, Elyon and Elyon viewers, absolutely glorious. Final dwarf number three, four. <laughs> absolutely glorious. Hi now. Yes, no damage. He's got he's got the momentum, but. Momentum schmomentum. He needs to kill. He needs moider. Wow. What a look a dog Elyod is. The luckiest man in Blood Bowl. Did El are you telling me that Elyod rolled all the dice? <laughs> are, you are you telling me Elyod rolled all the dice? I don't believe it. <laughs> you got to pile on every time with claw palm, uh, for all. You you have to pile on every single time with claw palm. The odds dictate, unless unless piling on loses you the game this turn, um, you must pile on. <laughs> That's how it literally how it works. Claw palm, the odds are, the odds are the odds are too 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 much in favour of of claw palm. They they really are. Like there's an argument for doing it against armor nine every time still. But definitely claw, like there's it's literally it, if this if it doesn't lose you the game to pile on, you pile on. Like that's it's just that powerful. Um and uh he needs to murder these chorfs the way Ducky's Wood Elves murdered chorfs for sure, yeah. Yeah, Ducky really murdered the chorfs. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Chunter, yes, uh Yeah, you're playing the winner, aren't you? Isn't isn't that right, Chunter? A lot easier game versus Krupi, I think, despite obviously Krupi having a lot of tackle. Um, he doesn't have a ball carrier to speak of, does he? He's only got strength three without guard. Um, obviously, the bulls are great. The bulls are pretty great versus like elfy types, but no ball carrier. Whereas, Kru Kru I need to say, Cruz Cyber's got an incredible ball carrier, strength four, blood sure hands. Like that is that is a great anti elf. Player. And he's also got the tentacles, right? So he's got he's got he's got one anti-elf player, and he's got a great anti-elf ball carrier. So he's got 
He has got two great things versus elfin types. Whereas Kruppi has got eight tackle. Which is pretty good. <laughs> but a shit ball carrier. Yeah, Cybers had a really rough draw. Like it's it's kind of crazy Cybers draw. And uh and yeah, and even if he wins this, the game versus Crystal is very losable for him, right? He's had he's had a horrendous draw his Cyber Knight. Absolutely horrendous draw. Uh, I can't remember what his round two match was, but it it wasn't it wasn't easy. Um, maybe it was like versus Underworld or something. Like it was easier than the first round. His first round was nolly, wasn't it? His first round was uh, was brutal. Oh, Andre was his second round. Kemri, yeah. So, it, oh no, that was creepy. Sorry, Eludius, Eludius with uh, a claw on Wolf. That was that was Cyber's second round. So the first round was versus like a two thousand TV Nurgle team. Second round was against a claw on Wolf. Uh, but not too much else on the Necro team. And then uh, this round versus Monster Chorfs. Next round versus Monster Rats. If he wins that. Maybe he's Monster Chaos in <laughs> Mr. Page. <laughs> and if he wins that, he'll be in the final versus probably uh, Monster Woodies. So there you go. His team is is ridiculous, yeah. <laughs> so we can recall sweat sometimes. <laughs> yeah. But now Cyber gets the uh, gets two claw mighties back, right? Gets two claw mighties. So this is the thing with uh, Kruppi kind of engaging first. What will what will Cyber do? Not much yet. <laughs> Can he hit this guy? Need another, need another assist or blitz with this one. All the stand firm. It's a pain, isn't it? It really is. Oh, there we go. Claw Mighty does something. Instant Apple with two. And that gives him the Claw. The Claw Mighty on... This guy. Or the assist and hit the bull. Yeah, I like hitting the bull because he's got tackle. Reroll, instant. <laughs> Greedy banger. <laughs> You've got to do it though. You've got to do it. Claw pom OP. Like it's just the odds are the odds are there. Like it just is what it is, isn't it? And he's got these two guys in as well for more claw mighty. He's like how you just gotta dodge away from this is strength five claw mighty is horrendous, isn't it? Like how the hell do you deal with this asshole? Cheeky foul, cheeky rookie foul on the claw pom, worth it.
Indeed, for all the forgotten, yeah. Like as much as I, as much as I, you know, enjoyed Pylon, was always like, oh yeah, kill all men's. Always have been, oh yeah, kill all men's. Uh, on Fumble and that, it's it is a bit stupid, yeah, and it's pretty brainless. Yeah, this is this is pretty bad for him, yeah, because now he just gets monstered, right? Like, how does he deal with all these strength four claw mighties? He just doesn't. So it's uh, it's really really bad. Really, really bad for Krippy, yeah. But he can still make a random Kaz and ruin ruin Cyber Knight's day on his way out. A critical miss next for the game versus Crystal. Maybe we'll play better. No one's going to play better, Mingle. <laughs> no one's going to play better. <laughs> People will just have people will just have Amazons with Morg. <laughs> there will be there will be no good play. Just Mighty Blow plus two. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't surprise me from Rebel Discord. It dep like it depends what you say by crush crutch, right? Like it can be. There's definitely people who are bad at the game that do all right because they've got claw palm, right? But also, it is just like the best strategy for winning games. <laughs> so it's it's kind of both in a way, right? There's not that much skill in making two dice blocks. There's not that much skill in just two dicing people and uh, killing everything. But I mean, there's still there is still play, right? Like Cyber Knight is still going to play better than most people, and uh, you know they're still the best skills to pick. Exactly. Yes, my Rebel team would not have been better with a DT Warrior. <laughs> oh, oh God! Well, at least the claw, at least the floor doesn't have claw mighty, eh? <laughs> at least, at least the floor doesn't have claw mighty. <laughs> Whoops a daisy. <laughs> oh god. Well there you go. Both apples gone on turn three. And now Cyber gets what a three D from this guy with Claw Mighty. Outrageous. And now this neither can dodge away either. So now they've just gotta stay down. Huge foul and a claw palm hit. Four. <laughs> Two dice, all the men's. Chorf dodge deaths are pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny the the multiple reroll usage is like it's quite good, right? For for Bash, it's gonna stop the the oh he's not even claw palming. Um, for Bash, it's gonna stop the like horror turns where like you one in nine and then dub skull and then dub skull with somebody else and stuff like that. Or you know like you use a reroll, you use an early reroll and a dub skull and then you've got no reroll for all the critical stuff. So it like it mitigates those turns for the bash teams, but obviously it lets it lets agility teams do ridiculous things when it comes to sacking, and it's gonna it's gonna particularly allow Skaven to be ridiculous at one turning, isn't it? Ridiculous Skaven one turners. More conservative Chunter. You can you can finally play more conservative, right? With Skaven, you can just literally lie down. And then be like, oh look, I've got a rat ogre with Juggernaut. Um, I, I might be able to get a push here. <laughs> I've got three re-rolls. And, and, I've, and I've got a sidestep gutter. I might be able to get the, the push that I need. Sidestep sprint sure feet gutter. I might be able to get the one push that I need with this, this Juggernaut roger. And... Uh, And three reels to get it to him and get through the lines and everything. It's ridiculous. You're ridiculous.
No, oh, raw all. Do you re-roll this? Hey! <laughs> and that there is why I never greed re-roll things. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Nice re-roll, mate. Where'd you get it? The shit re-roll shop. Now he can even blitz into there and there, so he's definitely getting the ball this turn. Oh. Now, I don't want to say this is over, but... You know, don't say it's over, but it's turn four, and he's about to lose the ball. Use both apples, everyone's on the ground. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good point as well, Penemu, yeah. That's it. That is a good point. Probably doesn't pile on here just because he's next to the uh, dirty player and giving him assist as well. Should have moved this guy first. Right? Could, have moved, could have done a few moves to get the... Because uh, you want this tentacle in more doing things where he's... You know, get him a bit more relevant. Yes, Ducky, yeah, it's looking... It's looking very good for the chaos, isn't it? There's no, there's no claw pump hits for uh, for Krippy for the rest of the half, and this was his offensive drive. So yeah, it's it's very, very bad for Krippy. Very bad. But you know, you can always just get a rando bang out. Yeah, you can always get a rando bang out. But yeah, no more LOS hits is is brutal. Yeah, especially if Cyber scores right. If Cyber scores, it's huge because then he just wins one nil, and doesn't give the hits on the last turn if he doesn't want to. So, oh man, double one. At least he doesn't get claw pommed, I guess. <laughs> At least he doesn't get claw pommed. There you go. At least he doesn't get claw pommed. So that was actually a great result, probably. Probably that was the best result for Krippy there, right? That's the only result that pr prohibits his uh, bull from getting instantly claw pommed. So, you know. <laughs> Not the end of the world. He can't. He can't. He can't. Uh, he can't even. Can't even surf this guy. I guess he blit blitz him with somebody else so that you can get your edge for the shoot hands picking up the ball. Yeah. Yeah. I, I liked him going back next turn because if he had come la here last turn, then this turn he could have like come up around the ball right, and then the ball's totally secured from any any bull sent or bullshit. Which, okay, you'd have to be super lucky. Super lucky to do anything. I don't like this at all. I, like, I'd definitely just score on him and just get it, get the score done here. You really want a defensive score, right? It's imperative you defensive score here. So that you don't have to score on your own drive. I think. I know he's got reserves, but, you know, things can happen. I guess he just wants to skill this guy up. Yeah, he's on 13. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, it's kind of a vague, the vaguest chance. Yeah, I think you should have rerolled that. I think you should have rerolled it this turn, right? Because now he's running out of time. Like the most important thing is to score this drive. I think you have to score this drive, just so you've got the freedom of not having to score next drive. Or like even just got the ball on this guy this turn and then ran him up the field to try and hand off like later and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like he had options. <laughs> yeah, what he what he could have done is just move this guy up to like here. Or whatever. Could have moved this guy up to here, yeah. 
and then gone for the pickup on him so he could go for the handoff on him next turn and stuff like that. Or whatever. Whatever, Trevor. Can get a 3D here, can't he? I think he really should have prioritised just getting the score done. Now even if he makes the pickup, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's like three GFIs now. Uh, the curse superstars have just killed a guy. <laughs> and they've taken no damage. That's the third cars, but two both apples have been used for creepy. And now he's made the pickup. Oh GFI. Good. Deserved. Absolutely deserved. <laughs> Not to be mean to Cyber, but absolutely 100% deserved for being a bit of a dick. <laughs> like, I just think, like, you know, it was so easy to, like, make the but the touchdown really secure, right? Just make it secure, win the game. Because, he, he, like, you're dicking about trying to get the skill on this guy. He should He should have just got it on him. Made sure of the win. And then second half. If if you've still got three bad players to put on the LOS, level him as well. And like if you dominate and score on him, but like just make sure you just make sure you win. Like it was so easy just to make sure he won this game, right? Like he could have he could have had this game won so easily. By just picking up with this guy. And he, he chose not to. And like, it's only one player down on Krippy. Krippy's team isn't terrible. Like, it's not, it's actually not over. It's unbelievably not over. He's probably just going to hand off, right? <laughs> He's got to <this. laughs> Another one and dead. Ah, oh, diced. Shouldn't have definitely wants creepy, yeah. Even though he's got eight tackle. Even though he's got eight tackle. There's nobody nobody would choose to play Creepy's team over Cyber's team. Like nobody would choose to play Cyber's team over Creepy's team. It doesn't matter what team you've got, even Amazon's. Even Amazon's I'd rather play fucking Creepy's team than Cyber's team. Cyber's team is horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but he does it. If he does it this turn, then um, then if it fails, he's got another chance. Does that make any sense? Not really, eh? Not really. So yeah, he probably should have either done the pass last turn, either pass directly. Oh yeah, just done the past the or do the two plus this turn. Yeah, yeah, didn't really get, get anything. You're right, Moradam. He didn't really gain anything by doing the GFI that turn because he only had one reroll. If he had two rerolls, he would have been right to do the GFI that turn, so he wouldn't have to do the pass and the catch on the same turn, right? So if he had two rerolls, he would have definitely been correct to have done the GFI then. Um. Oh wow. But because he only had one reroll, it just didn't matter. Yeah. Well, Dicid. 
all three KOs fail. But there was a real good chance that he gets like, I mean, these two are the only ones that matter, right? The, the, the hobo doesn't matter. So there's a real good chance he got these two back and he's only down one choke. So Cyber really not being punished for his, his dicking around with this guy. Did Spain win 7 0? I stopped watching after it was 4 0. <laughs> it was uh it was pretty boring. Yeah, back to Dick. I mean, and that at least he's got the whole half, right? Like, I w I w I'm all for dicking around with a guard go this half, but after I'm definitely 1-0 up. Like, that's the thing, isn't it, you know? Like, I, I definitely want to be 1-0 up, then dick around with guard go, and then if it looks like you're not going to take too much damage on the LOS, bang it in for the 2-0. Oh, Walid. Yeah, true, true. It's, yeah. Highest scoring choice winner game. Um, like, do you mean the actual final? Probably not. Nothing too crazy in the final. In the actual final of the Chalice, probably nothing too crazy. There's been probably ridiculous matches, like in the in the round of 32 and stuff. It's probably been like a 7-0 versus Goblins or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like, it wouldn't surprise me if, like, you know, let, like, what would have happened if, like, say, Chunter ran into, uh, you know, Halflings or whatever. Could easily be, like, a... Could easily be a 6-0 or something, couldn't it? Yeah, there's no, there's no wizard. He just chose uh, Apple and Brian. Oh, there we go. Huge, huge Apple time. Good news for Chunter. And now no Apple for the rest of it. Very exciting. Like this is the thing. This is just, this is just the thing. Like that Cyber has to deal with, right? It's still easy for for Kruppi to just fuck his team. <laughs> Same way as what happened to Kadenik, wasn't it, you know? He had one of these, like a closer mirror than this, but these teams can easily just bang people out. Got the DP as well, he can DP foul. I don't know where that came from, Mad Skills, but yeah, I would say almost certainly that yes. <laughs> it's like a medieval type society, isn't it? There's probably uh, probably zero fucks given about lots of things. Uh, 
what's Wanger's shop's name? Uh, Gathering Point Games. Here we go. What happens with this dirty player? Plus one. Nothing. Nothing. Just Google Wanger's shop. <laughs> Yeah, I, I expect a Mad Skills Art Commission to come in any time, any time soon. <laughs> Won't get done, but you know. Oh, dear. Oh, my God, the rainbow clip's amazing, isn't it? The, the, the rainbow clip, oh, my God. So here we go, bunch of hits. Not a claw bomb hit though. But an instant removal. I guess he can hit. He can hit here anyway, can't he? Two guards. Well, no, he's, he's got two counter guards. He's got a guard, so he needs another guy in to hit him, and then he can hit him. And then there's no DPs. But also he can't he can't foul him, can he? Because his DP's over here. And there's no assists. So yeah, like really Cyber's only concern this half wants to be dealing with his core bomber, doesn't it? Which again, if he's 1-0 up, he's got a lot more freedom to only care about you know limiting the claw bomb hits in any way possible. I really think it was a big mistake by Cyber to to try and get this level. I think he just had to had to get the score, you know, almost certainly secure the victory, and then just try and get out, you know, try and focus on getting out with no damage. I know more damage. I've, I've got I've got a spreadsheet with them all on. Forty one, forty one requests. Nope, sent off. But a reprieve for one turn. And then maybe that one turn's enough, right? Because he's got the strength four and the strength five. Maybe he can bang all these guys down and, uh, and get a big foul next turn. But he really wants to win in normal time. Again, really wanted to be 1 0 up already. But there's, there's hardly anything left for the Chorf's eight players. It's only nine for the chaos. No, because I might refund them faulty. Like I, you know, I might when it comes to them, if the people aren't around anymore, I might just refund them, and then if they get back, they can they can do it again. Because some didn't give me very good instructions, you know. <laughs> Fine. Alright, go on, Faulty. Clean everything up if you want, I don't mind. Tentacles, he is going for the ball. There's no real point. Maybe he isn't, maybe he's just going to hit a claw on me. That's pretty. That's pretty good, Moradam. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, a lot of the requests are uh, are just. Uh, I like Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> oh my God, Ali Raider! <laughs> there's no. There's no way that's getting done. Well, there you go. Look, he got the ball down, and. You know, now this is something Cyber has to deal with, right? And he's only got a one-man advantage.
And he, he just could have been 1 0 up. You don't have to manually clear them, you just click delete all or whatever, or like, you know, accept all. Like, there's, it's one button, it's not. It's not a lot of clearing. <laughs> yeah, that would have been hilarious, Moradam. Yeah, if the guard beast man had died. Oh, man, after all that. Oh, oh man. <sighs> He's got the ball. He's got the flipping ball. Hmm. Less exciting. And he's not that isolated, is he? To be fair, he can punch him. He's got the guard there, so he can punch him. Kind of needs a power on this hit, though. But if he gets a hit here... And then, I guess this is in the way, isn't it? So it's a bit annoying still. I bet, I bet he is regretting his cocking about a bit, yeah. Three dice is a little easy. Oh god, another one gone. <laughs> well now he doesn't even need to free the claw bomb because he's got the claw bomb here who can claw bomb the uh, bull. If he'd had Juggernaut, he wouldn't have. Uh, he, wouldn't, he would have been able to clear it just quietly. But it'd been the other one still. Wow, faulty! Accept it, you loon, faulty! <laughs> Fuck off, faulty! How dare you! How dare you, faulty! How fucking dare you! I can demod you, you know. You better allow people to like me, Faulty. If you want to keep your sword, if you want to keep your sword, Faulty, you've got to allow people to like me. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Skuro was quite reasonably banning people for life for mentioning Tom Brady. <laughs> Yep, yeah, there you go. So there's the big removal. Um, and now it's just surely mopping up. That was a huge turn for Cyber, wasn't it? Like three removals. But there's a Kaz back on the claw bomb. Miss next. Boy, howdy. Chunter winning this game. Ch Ch Chunter winning a game he's not even in. Another cast, maybe? No. <laughs> Flip me. Chunter really is the opposite of me, right? I got diced in a game I wasn't in, and now Chunter's the only winner in a game he wasn't in. <laughs> It was. It wasn't just a tackle god. It was a tackle fucking claw bomber. It was like you know, that's, that's a huge fucking player. Shouldn't be getting all the dice. <laughs> yes, Rick. <laughs> yep. That's not untrue. <laughs> it's gonna be really nice. <laughs> wow, that's so funny though. Elliot, 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 leveling up his guy in overtime for the game against me, and then this is kind of the opposite, isn't it? This, uh, this claw pummer. It's got, it's got to stick the guard on the back, right? It doesn't do anything. No, it does. Yeah, because he's got guard. So he's, he has to sit the guard on the back. Fuck the ball. You don't need to care about the ball because you want it up. Oh no, wait, you're not. <laughs> 
<laughs> Brady retired in 2020. How funny are the Jets though? Oh my god. The Jets are so funny. Well, in the second half, they averaged like 2.7 inches a, a down or something, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> it was incredible. <laughs> oh. Gets the pow. Pile on. Only a kill. But, like, you know, this guard could have been on the other side. That's, he had to have the other guard on the other side, right? He just had to to make that a 1D. I guess he, he cared about the ball, which he really shouldn't have had to. <laughs> I mean, the the Raiders did stop playing in 1983. <laughs> Ali Raider, that's not... <laughs> that's just a factually true statement. <laughs> Fumble. Hey, there's 3D. Gets a knockdown. Any strength five. But again, because these are because these are stand firms, they're just giving him they're just giving him the claw bomb hits, aren't they? <laughs> Only a push! <laughs> Now he can just stand this guy up and claw up on the strength five. <laughs> yeah, this time he puts the guard there so he so he can't. Now it's just a 1D on him. Now it's just a 1D on him. Flip me. He's finally had to like care about protecting his players. But again, if he's 1-0 up, that's all he cares about, right? Like it's it was such a such a bad such a bad move from Cyber trying to skill this guy up in the first half, I think. And I know I haven't let go of it, but it's it's important, right? It's important to be 1-0 up. He, he's done a bit of a Rick move, hasn't he? You know, Rick with his... I'll never forget the day where Rick played about seven seven games with Lizards and, like, didn't win any of them because he kept trying to pick up with Saurus and stuff. And it's like, go 1-0 up and then hand off to the Saurus, you know? Like, it's... it's he, he could have had a he could he could have had a seven and all lizardman team, with like you know four touchdowns on Saurus, but instead he had no lizardman team, with no touchdowns on Saurus, <laughs> and also could have had like seven MVPs on Saurus as well, right? Like it was a lot. It was the it was maybe it wasn't day one of the season, but it was early on in the season, and it was just like continuous continuous failures to to get Saurus TDs. Yeah, exactly, Chunter, exactly. Like, you know you've won at that point, right? And, like, turn five or whatever, he knew he'd won the game on turn five. So, so yeah, yeah, Rick, does, Rick doesn't give a shit, Penny. <laughs> he really doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Rick does not give a shit. <laughs> he'll, he'll, go for the, he'll go for the level ups. Um... <laughs> And it's entertaining, isn't it? Even if it doesn't like, even if it doesn't work, like who cares? So I see the point. In, you know, but um, and like you know, it's given me content for years as well, laughing about that that lizard man day. But um, man, this really could go to overtime. And yeah, he could have protected his team so much just by getting this touchdown in the first half. He could have taken less cars, particularly this one. Particularly this one. He probably takes this one anyway, right? But particularly this one, he could have probably he could have he could have probably stopped this one and just approached the whole half differently, knowing that he's one up. Just so much freedom. Oh yeah, this 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 is probably going to have to pick up in the tackle zone with the uh, with the actual ball carrier now, right? 
Yep. And now he's got to reroll the dodge out. Boy, howdy. Right. It's probably good, though. It's re it really is probably good now. But flip me. Talk about making a meal of it. This was a very <laughs> greedy side of Rick game, wasn't it? It was definitely not played as well as his uh, as his Lizard Man game in the playoffs. This was more like a pass to a Tomb Guardian, <laughs> or pass with a Tomb Guardian. Pass from one Tomb Guardian to the other in a tied game is is a proper Rick move. <laughs> Yeah, it made, it made the game a little more interesting. Yeah, and very good for Chunter because that might have uh, that might have it might have led to that tackle bomb missing the game. It might have led to Cyber Knight exiting the competition. You know, like it really might have done. That's how that's how critical um, it could have been. I don't know if that's like inexperience of Cyber, right? Because like obviously he's good at Blood Bowl. Good at just like you know playing blood ball and winning games of blood ball, um, but also used to Bretonians and ogres and stuff rather than like real teams like you know really good claw pom chaos teams. So yeah, inexperienced with good teams. You know, maybe I don't know if he plays in leagues, but you know if he had played in rebel. He'd know all about, or, or any any kind of, not just rebel, any kind of, uh, you know, league. Uh, what's what's it called? Any kind of eternal league. Um, you know, where prioritizing the team is super important. It's a terrible fault force. Even though he's got like three finals with them. They're terrible. He's got a claw palm hit. He's got. He's actually just got a claw palm hit. Fwa. How many dead players? Not. Not. None. Dead. This guy was killed, but the apple worked, but made it miss next. And uh, the claw palm is also miss next. He was already nibbled. Reroll it, Kruppi. You've lost. Just take it. Take him down with you. <sighs> Diced. Yeah, string five bird is pretty good, isn't he? <laughs> he might not one turn as well. I guess he could get a riot. I guess he could get conceivably get a riot. Win the toss in overtime. It's possible, isn't it? Don't say it's over. Don't say it's over. <laughs> However, if this was 2 0, <laughs> it would be over. I think, I think uh, Cyber's going to have scumbags to put on the LOS. Oh, wow. He's made one out of eight KO rolls. Yeah, he's got he's still got chaff to put on the LOS. Yes, particularly he should be one nil up. But and that was pure greed, right? That was pure greed the hits because Turn eight, there's a lot of value in taking hits for the second half. But um with overtime and it being turn sixteen, should have just scored. Wow for me. That a better line would have been saying it's as over as Tom Brady's marriage. <laughs> <laughs> No, 
not that I'm being mean to Tom Brady, of course, but um, it's mad that it like it's mad to prioritize his winning career. I think. But there you go. That's how he's had the career that he's had, isn't it? With that kind of attitude. So I guess it is what it is. That is why he's the greatest of all time. So another mighty blow hit. And no, no meaningful cas in the last turn. So Cyber very happy with that. Scrapes through 1-0. <laughs> Not many, no. <laughs> Not many school. More, um... He's won more Super Bowls than any franchise, hasn't he? <laughs> He retired in 2020. <laughs> there you go, anyway. Um, congrats to Cyber. Obviously not much of a game. Um, but a pretty nice one for for, uh, for Crystal, who will face the, you know, face the winner of this. Um, he only took three casualties Cyber Knight, but two of them were missed next games. One of them a very critical player, so that's going to give Crystal a little bit of an extra chance in his game. But I mean, it's still a monster team, even with two missed next games. So there you go. Congrats to Cyber Knight. Commiserations, Crippy. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.